Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. A heartbreaking story out of Stanford tonight. Police say a woman killed her mother and then took her own life. The bodies were found this afternoon in their foreclosed home on Long Ridge Road. News 8's Jimmy Muro is live in News 8 Control with the details. Jamie? Well, and here we are just two days away from Mother's Day. And, you know, in a sad situation like this, police are reminding people that there is always help families can use so they don't feel so trapped, so alone. But apparently, a daughter felt that death was the only option. How lost must someone feel to reach this point? How dark did the days become when this would be the only way to escape? I am devastated because this can be me, it can be you, it can be anybody. So where are we in this society that we're not caring about neighbors, our families, our anybody? Stanford police say the elderly mother and daughter had been reclusive for some time, perhaps because the house had been foreclosed and recently sold. A neighbor called police out of concern. An officer had to use a ladder to get inside through a second story window, discovering the gruesome scene inside. The mother was found at the bottom of the stairway leading to the second story. Looks like she was probably shot at the top of the stairs and probably tumbled down the stairs. The daughter was found in a second story bedroom uh, adjacent to the bed where she took her own life. Police say we can learn from this tragedy. There are always options, always help for someone in need. We are blessed in this country with a lot of social social services and if somebody had reached out and made contact maybe this tra tragedy could have been inverted. There was a cache of guns in the home because the elderly woman's late husband was an avid outdoorsman. They believe the financial troubles began about six years ago, not long after his death. I was so sad when I saw the sign go up for foreclosure because mm -hmm. that's the last thing that any family needs is somebody to come and stick a sign in the front lawn to say we are taking over your house. Police also tell us the family owed thousands in back taxes. The names have not been released pending notification of next to kin. We're live in News 8 Control. I'm Jamie Miro, News 8.